What's up fellow Pokemon trainers, Andre here, and I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Go. In fact, as you may have heard from our earlier video, um, Derek mentioned that I had a dance appointment, and I actually ended up playing the game almost the entire way there, and I wanted to on the way back as well, except the servers went down, which sucked, because you see that gym at the top of the screen right there, just a little bit north, or east rather? Um, I wanted to try and take control of it, and I couldn't with the servers down. But then, but then once it came back up, I'm like, you know what, I should record myself uh, taking control of them to show what that's like. So that's what we're going to do right here, so I'm going to walk you through my gameplay um, that I recorded just a few minutes minutes ago, and uh, I'll tell you all about my experience with the game so far. So as you can see, I just caught another freaking Rattata, um, as if I don't have enough of those already. And hopefully I'm saying that right, it's been a long time since I've played the original Pokemon games. <laughs> and hey look, I just earned a medal for catching 10 normal type Pokemon. Um, and in fact, I'll get another medal here pretty soon. Spoilers! Uh, yeah, so this game's pretty interesting. I'm still not totally sure how I feel about it yet. I will say, I am a little bit more addicted to it than I thought, just walking around and checking out all these um, pokey stops, which are based on landmarks in your town, is pretty cool. Uh, especially because I live in San Francisco, there are a ton around me. Now, evidently that's not the case, depending on where you are, for everyone. Uh, around here, there are like several on every street almost, or every block even. Which is pretty great, because I can go walking in any direction here and come across any number of pokey stops and get a ton of items. In fact, I have so many Pokeballs, I don't even know what to do with them. Um, although my aim isn't the best, so maybe I do need them. Maybe the game's trying to tell me something. Okay, so quick recap, as you can see again, I'm trying to level up right now to level 5, and to do that we're stopping by Pokestops and capturing Pokemon. And to help increase the rate of Pokemon, you may see I have this purple mist around me. And that is the incense that I activated, it's something you can buy in the store, I forget how much it costs. Um, and I just love the idea of the incense, it always reminds me of incense candles, like I'm trying to seduce these Pokemon to come to me. Anyways, um... Yeah, so I'm trying to increase the rate I, I can capture these Pokemon to level up faster. And look, here's another Pidgey. I have so many of these guys already. Uh, and I have to say, like, the AR actually works pretty well. I'm actually pretty impressed with how well it works, even if it's not anywhere close to how the initial trailers promised it might be, which, of course it wasn't. It looked ridiculous even then. But it actually does track how you're holding your phone um, surprisingly well relative to the world and the Pokemon within it. Um, so much so that I'm actually afraid of looking like an idiot by aiming my phone up at these Pokemon, which is why you may have noticed I'm often tilting the phone down. I'm trying to remain somewhat inconspicuous, even though I have a giant cable hanging off my phone, running to my camera in my pocket to record the audio, even though it failed twice on me now, which is why there's no actual game audio in this video. Um, so apologies for that. It's a pain trying to get the audio and video together on these mobile games. Hey, and look, I just got another medal for uh, 10 flying Pokemon. But yeah, it is kind of weird playing this game in public uh, while walking past just a ton of people. I, I'm, I've always been a little self-conscious, and this definitely ramps it up a little bit. Anyways, um, looks like I'm in the process of capturing a Doduo here, another one of many. And that's actually something I've noticed so far, there, is there doesn't seem to be a ton of Pokemon diversity um, within uh, at least the area I'm in. I've walked several, like I've walked more than a mile um, away from where I live, and the, the Pokemon diversity didn't seem to be much different, uh, if at all. So I'm not quite sure how big the regions are yet, and it's something maybe the game tells you. Anyways, um, so yeah, here is a, oh god, what's this guy called? Krabby? Crabber? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's see here, what is it called? Um, I do like how he actually appeared to be in the street. Again, it ties back into the whole AR thing, looking pretty crabby, that's it. Um, you know, the whole AR being pretty convincing, even though they don't react to anything happening in the real world, like, you know, he can't actually get run over by a car or something, which would be pretty impressive. Uh, yeah, so here is an abstract mural. Hear that, Derek? Mural. <laughs> um, so what is, what is kind of cool about this game is, despite me having lived here for a year and a half now, uh, I'm finding out all kinds of things about the city I never even noticed, because at each of these Pokestops, it's tied to a landmark, a picture of like a, either a mural or like graffiti or some kind of artwork there, or it could also just be like a building, like a distinctive, uh, like one of them near me is a, um, like some kind of clock tower that it has a picture of. So it is kind of neat that I'm learning more about my city through Pokemon, which is kind of weird. So, uh, yeah, here we go, here's a Rattata, of course you'd find rats in the city, um, I'm glad they are represented here <laughs> in San Francisco. Um, here's another artwork I was talking about, uh, with even more Pokeballs. I do like how you have to spin it, um, with your finger, like you just over the icon, just a neat little thing there. Alright, so, um, I believe you can see it, like, some, at points, you can't see it right now, but you can see, like, uh, grass flying up, which I think indicates where a Pokemon could be found if I were to go in that direction. I'm not. Instead, I'm focused right now on the Pokestops for whatever reason. <laughs> um, yeah, more Pokeballs. There we go. I don't know why I clicked on it again. So one thing about this game is you really have to be careful of your spatial awareness. Like, it is easy to get sucked into what you're doing in the game, 
and forgetting about the fact that you're actually out in the world. And the game warns you about this at the very start of it, which you'll soon find out. In fact, I think, I think the game actually went up as I'm recording this right now online or uh, live uh, in those countries. So if you haven't downloaded it yet, you can check out right now. Um, but just be careful when you're playing this. You know, when you're crossing a street or battling Pokemon, um, take it easy. <laughs> so we don't want any, any actual harm to come to you. Uh... So I think I just activated a uh, an egg as well, a lucky egg, which actually doubles the amount of XP you get, if I remember correctly. And I wish I had done that actually earlier in this video, but I got leveled up even faster. Um, so you'll see it here once I capture uh, the sparrow, I believe. Um, I think this this actually might... If this doesn't get me up to level 5, it gets me real close. Come on, catch it! Catch it! God, alright. You know what, it's actually... I will say a sparrow, that's it. Oh man. God, I used to know all 151, like, off the top of my head, years ago when I played this game. Um, looks like I'm not quite up to level 5 yet, I don't think. There seems, there seems to be a delay when the game actually tells you when you level up. Yeah, I'm not quite there yet. Uh, I'm super close, though. Like, I am on the verge of leveling up, which means we can go, we'll go to the gym right after. You can see I'm closing in on the gym. Uh, I do like how your trainer's, like, actually walking on the map. Like, it, she basically, or he, basically follows along, um, with you as you're walking. It, it really... I found the GPS works quite well, I mean, as it tends to do on phones in general these days. Although it did have some trouble picking me up uh, when I was in downtown earlier among all the skyscrapers. So, yeah, here's some more footage of me throwing Pokeballs at the ground. Um, look at those beautiful San Francisco sidewalks, which are incredibly well maintained, as you can clearly see. Alright, got another Pidgey here added to my collection. I actually tried to evolve one um, at the very end of this video. Unfortunately, it froze the app. Um, so I don't think the evolution went through, I haven't checked since. Hey, look, I leveled up to level 5, uh, which means we can go, um, check out that gym. So, as you'll see, I'll do that here in a few moments. Once I click on this, uh, Doduo here, uh, it can be a little bit tricky to click on things, to, uh, when they're close together, but I think you can zoom in to make it a little bit easier. Um, yeah, and, you know, again, like, the AR does work surprisingly well, like, the, the Doduo mostly stays consistent with the environment, so it is pretty impressive, even though the woman who just walked in front of them clearly... Uh, you know, the Doduo was still in front of her somehow. <laughs> we don't question these things. Hey, look at those Pokeballs just bouncing off helplessly. Jeez. There we go. Finally got them. So, yeah. I have a nice uh, collection of, like, the same five Pokemon. I should open up, like, a zoo or something. Got my Spearows, my Doduos, my Ratats, or Ratatas, whatever. My Pidgeys, of course. He's in the road, man! Don't hang out in the road! That's a dangerous place to be. See, look, he just, the biker just barely missed him. And now we're going for a little walk. <laughs> as, as the Pidgey, or Pidgey doesn't even bother flying away. There we go. So I don't recommend playing this game as you're crossing the streets like I have. Do as I say, not as I do. Alright, here we are. We are finally at the gym. You can see we're close enough for it to become active. And, uh, the professor is gonna walk us through this real quick. So he's like, looks like you've caught a lot of Pokemon, gained a lot of experience, and it's time to start participating in battles. And we have three excellent assistants we can choose between. Um, each of them belong to a different team. Uh, and part of the research is conducting something I can't even remember. I'm scrolling through too fast. Alright, so first up is Team Yellow, Spark. I don't think Yellow is actually what they're called, but, um, that's what I'm gonna call them for the purpose of this video, and that's probably what everyone's gonna refer to them as. Uh, in fact, my friend group is already referring to them by just their team names. Um, so blue is Team Mystic. And you're gonna see which team I belong to here in just a sec, or which team I chose. And of course we have Team Red, which is actually Team Valor. But yeah, they're totally just colors. I don't care what their actual team names are. Alright, so... You can see here... Of course I chose Team Blue. Objectively the best team. I grew up on Pokemon Blue. I don't see how you couldn't pick that as your color. If you are on any other team, you are my mortal enemy. Alright, so here we go. The gym is unclaimed. There is no Pokemon here. And I can actually choose which Pokemon I want to assign to this gym. So, I forget which one I end up putting here. I think I put a... I th oh, no, I remember now. Um, I won't ruin the suspense, though. Come on. There we go. Poliwog. He now owns that gym. So, yeah, there's actually another gym down the street, too, which someone else had already claimed before me somehow, which is pretty impressive. That was one of the first people on this game once it came out. Um, so I don't know who else in San Francisco was playing it just down the street from me. Um, but yeah, so you can see, uh, you can see that when you click on a gym that's already taking control of, it shows a Pokemon, it shows a person that controls it, being me in this case. 
Uh, and yeah, so, so far, me and my buddy down the street have this place on, this street on lockdown, because he is also on Team Blue. Um, so yeah, we're in a good place right now. Unfortunately, I wanted to see how it works if you're, uh, on an opposing team, and you want to take control of a gym, so I haven't been able to see that process yet, but I will, I think I'll make a video of that, um, coming up soon once I find a gym near me that's not under Team Blue's control. Uh, yeah, we'll see how that process works. In fact, I mean, you can probably go check out for yourself now, too, since the game is out, once again. And, yeah, so that's that's the main thing about this video I wanted to um, show off. I think we'll just let it run out to the end here. There's not too much more that happens. Um, so far, the game's interesting. You know, we're going to have to see how it, you know, how it all comes together, like how the social dynamics work of this, you know, um, with everyone playing together and basically fighting for territory. Uh, so I'll be interested to see if it actually holds my interest, because I can see it going either way right now. Like, right now... Uh, I, I have had fun with it. It's also the kind of thing I could see me burning out on incredibly quickly. Um, but I'm not going to judge quite yet. We will see how it all comes together. I'm getting some more Pokeballs here from the artwork. And we're going to stop by a few more Pokemon Pokestops on the way. And you can see, we have, we can already see some of the Pokestops, I believe, I've already stopped at, have already renewed. I can already stop at them again. So even if you only have a few in your area, it seems like... Just, you know, you can just bounce between the few around you, and it shouldn't be an issue. Alright, so I'm gonna go for that Zubat here in a sec, I think. And I remember this guy giving me some trouble. <coughs> See, I like how the flying ones, it actually looks natural when you're walking, how they actually keep pace. You know, or it actually looks like they're flying around, it makes sense that they're not just being drugged along the ground. So, I kinda wish I had figured out something for the other Pokemon, like, maybe giving them, like, a... I don't know, a jogging in place animation, so at least it looked believable when you're moving around. So yeah, this guy is a jerk. Um, I do know that, like, I think the ideal time to throw a Pokeball is when this green circle is small. Um, but it was pretty tricky, especially with me being self-conscious here. I'm not, I'm trying to not make myself totally obvious <laughs> that I'm playing Pokemon Go as I'm walking past all these people. I'm also trying to keep them, I also didn't want to get them on camera, really. I didn't want them to, uh be a part of my video necessarily without their permission, even though I don't need their permission. Um, I do try to respect that <laughs> as much as possible. Yeah, there we go, got my Zubat! Alright guys, so I think that's where I'm gonna, that's where I'm gonna draw the line on the video. Um, I showed you capturing the gym, um, hopefully we'll show off more of this game in the near future. Derek has it now, so you'll get journal entries from him as well, as we explore more of what Pokemon Go has to offer. So, um, I want to hear about your experiences too, so if you've encountered anything cool or noteworthy, or if you have any tips, feel free to post them in the comments below, and, um, yeah, we can maybe touch on them in future videos. Alright guys, have a good one, enjoy Pokemon Go, and catch you later. Bye.